Hello and welcome to euchremedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today I have a quick little tutorial for you and it is how to create pattern backgrounds with shape layers inside After Effects. And I do realize you can create the same thing in Adobe Illustrator and then bring it in uh, into After Effects, but I just want to show you how quickly you can create similar stuff in After Effects with barely uh, any time. And a lot of you have been asking me about like a pattern like this, how to create something like that. And I've included 15 other backgrounds just that I came up real quick um, that you can download on my website, ukramedia.com. So be sure to download uh, the After Effects uh, project file on my website. In fact, I'll show it to you. Here it is. All the backgrounds are there. Um, download them. You can use them for any kind of projects. Uh, but anyway, but as of right now, let's dive in into our tutorial. Okay, so I will not do all 15 backgrounds, but um, I'll do a few. Once you see me do one or two, you'll kind of get the idea of how to do the rest. So anyway, but I'll just do a few and let's start with the first one, the one that a um, uh, few people requested. So I'm going to control N on my keyboard here and create a new, new composition. And inside here, I'm going to double click on this uh, rectangle tool and it will give me a solid. But if you go to fill here, uh, you can go to radi uh, radial gradient. And it looks like it already gave me my colors, but if you want to adjust colors or anything else, uh, you would go here and adjust it. But this is good for me. And I'll use this little thing here to spread my gradient here. Something like that is fine. And I'll go ahead and label this uh, just ramp or something like that. And next what I'll do, I'll, I'll do the same thing again, rectangle tool, double click, and uh, I'll just label it lines and this time I just want a solid white so I'm not going to do the gradient so that's good and I'm going to go in this rectangle uh, option here and here again and size right here I'm just going to deselect the uh, proportion thing and just type um, three pixels for the x uh, axis so that's good and it creates me uh, like a thin little line which is great uh, next what I want to do I want to clone uh, this line um, bunch of times. So to do that, I'll just go over here and select repeater. And inside the repeater here, there's some options. You can, you know, have as many copies as you want. And then the repeater has its own transform properties and which is pretty cool. So you can scale, uh, rotate, and do all kinds of stuff. Uh, but for me, I'm just going to do a 20 pixel position thing. Something like that is good. Um, uh, also, I want to kind of uh, skew this, uh, these lines, uh, make them uh, basically at, at the little angle. Like you see what, I'm, what I mean. So like if I'll go to, I think, transform here. Yeah, skew. If I'm just going to put like 35. Yeah, something like that is good. And so now what I'll do is um, basically create more copies and drag this. Uh, to the beginning here, something like that. And that's pretty much it. And you can do a few things. You can do like uh, make it add uh, and then like hit T on your keyboard and then adjust the opacity, like bring it down to 35. And that should pretty much do it. All right, so for this next one, let's, uh, let's just pick up where we left off. I'm gonna duplicate this uh, back, uh, background that we just worked on and I'm gonna go into it and do something different. So I'm gonna select these lines and bring it back here so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm gonna collapse this down uh, and then go into my contents and repeater. And inside here, I'm just gonna bring it back to 10 copies and I'm gonna play with this, see what I can come up with. So inside the repeater one transform property, um, I'm going to play with and opacity. So what if I take it down to like 30% and it gives me an interesting look, but what if I duplicate or repeat this pattern? So let's say I'm going to do repeater two and it's going to repeat repeater one and that's kind of cool. So I'm going to go to this tra transform pro uh, property of the repeater two and then I'll shift the position to uh, about here and let's say I'll make like I don't know, 14 copies and then bring it back to, to about here. And that will give you an interesting background. Okay, so for the next background, we'll do something slightly different. So I'm gonna duplicate this uh, and go uh, and get rid of this line uh, lines uh, layer. And then I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm do control apostrophe 
to bring my grid and uh, I'll make sure that my snap to grid is uh, checked. And then what I'll do and just get, get a you know pen tool and then just draw something. See how it snaps to my grid, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna draw something like this and then control A, select all of them because I'm in busier and I got this curve. So if you hold alt and then click while you, all your points are selected, it'll make it linear. So that's good. So control apostrophe to get rid of the grid. Uh, and basically we have a little, I don't know, line, but it's different. And, and so a lot of times when you create something like that with shape layers, your your pivot point is all over the place. And I mean, you can hit V or Y and then trying to fix it. But the best way to do it is just to control alt home and it'll put it in the center of it and then control home and it'll put it in the center of your composition. So, all right, so I'm gonna label this, I don't know, line again. And this time I'm going to apply a repeater for this one. So let's go to repeater and in here in the repeater transform properties, I'm going to offset it to about, let's do like 318. Yeah, by the way, a lot of times like when this is selected, you can see, just make sure you click this one and you can see that the line is gone. So that's a good tip. All right. so. That's good, that's what I want. Uh, next, what, what I'm gonna do is uh, get this and probably have more copies like that and scale it down. And probably, I want it to be thicker, maybe like five. So something like that, okay. So yeah, you get the idea. So what I'm gonna do, well, once I have this shape, I'm gonna do another repeater uh, and it's, right here and so repeat two I'm gonna go into that property and I'll set the uh, Y position uh, slightly offset it maybe like 20 and I'll create like 10 copies and we can do this uh, the same thing we, we've done with the line so basically do like opacity 30 and that will give you an interesting look and then you can do a repeater number three uh, you can go crazy with repeaters by the way uh, don't hold back uh, yeah, and we'll do the same thing here, offset it, and maybe, uh, I don't know, something like this might give you an interesting look. And you can get as many copies as you want. Let's not go crazy, hold on. So something, oops. Something like this will give you an interesting look. and. As always, you can go to opacity here and drop it down to like 35 and do add or any other. And that will give you an, an interesting background as well. Okay, so for the next one, I'm gonna do something different. So I'm gonna duplicate this control D and go into this and erase line. So I'm, I'm gonna do use a polygon tool this time. So uh, double click and let's bring in something like that in here. And then let's in the polygon path, let's do like six points. And by the way, I know if you use a, like a polygon tool or any other tools, you can't really alter the points. And sometimes you want to have, you know, the control of that. But if, if you do want to do that, all you have to do is just right click here and convert to Bezier path. And it's kind of like a mask, you know, it gives you a path here and you can select points and alter stuff. So that's good to know. But let's go back to here and let's take our outer radius to about 80 maybe. Uh, and then what I'll do next, uh, let me take it down to like three pixels. Okay, so what I'll do next is um, um, I'll basically bring in another repeater or a repeater, <laughs> so repeater one, and then um, I'll offset this position to about 130, let me see, 139 will do. And you can have as many copies as you want. And so next what I'll do, I'll create another repeater. And this time I'm gonna have two copies. So, and I'll go on the second repeater, I'm gonna go uh, to the side about, let's see, oops. That's about right. And then maybe go down like this. So that's good. And um, and then next, what I'll do is uh, repeater number three. So I'll repeat this pattern. And with that, I'll go strictly down with it. So 
let's see. I don't need to go on the x axis of y, and I'm gonna go something like that, and have like what 14 copies or so, and I can probably scale that down some, place it, and maybe go to five again, and have more copies here. Oops, not repeater two. And repeater one as well. So there you have it. So, so basically, you can create any kind of patterns uh, or tiled pa patterns with it. And uh, you know, you can take the opacity down to like 25, add again, and then put whatever text and stuff over it. Okay, so for this last one, I'm going to do something different. And I, I just want to show you that you can do, use multiple objects and still repeat them. So let's just duplicate this uh, last background and I'm going to go inside here uh, and this time I'm going to bring in a sphere or ellipse, uh, ellipse tool and inside here I'm just going to do what like 50 by 50 maybe. Okay and then um, what I'll do next is uh, basically make sure that it has something here. So let's do like a stroke for that one. So make sure there's a wide stroke. Uh, you can see it and I'm going to duplicate this. Yeah, ellipse and this one I'm gonna do something different so let's go uh, select that and then I'm not gonna do stroke and let's do a fill for that so like that and I'm going to move uh, it 50 pixels X and Y like that and this one let's go to the first one I'm going to actually scale it to 60 okay so it's so I have two objects here, and I just want to show you that I can uh, repeat that as well. So I'm going to go here, repeater, and just go to work with it. Actually, it's already given me a hundred, so that's a perfect. Yep. So I'm going to repeat it like that. Uh, that's good. And then I'm going to repeat it every uh, repeat it again, and then go down with it. Uh, let's see. Let's go down a hundred. Okay, so this is perfect. So let's go to like about maybe five. And you know, you can always try the whole end uh, opacity to like 30%. That's good. Uh, you can scale it down. And then you can always do another repeater. When in doubt, do a repeater. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, so that one, let's alter this uh, on the on the y-axis actually when you so let's go down with it like this let's see I think it's gonna be about 500 and let's take the opacity down of the whole thing to down to 30 let's do like I don't know overlay and there you have it so I just want to show you that you can I mean the sky is the limit with these you can definitely try anything uh, and create all kinds of patterns in no time and you can also go inside animate things and um, but you can do all kinds of stuff. All right, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, please don't forget to download the backgrounds from ukramedia.com and also subscribe to this channel, like me on Facebook, uh, like this video, share it, comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much.